It's December 17th, 2025. My name is John. We're on iOS 26.2. And this is the latest version of my chat GPT to Apple Notes shortcut. And in this version, I've added some rules and the rules automatically attach to the query. So when ChatGPT receives our query, it gives us a response in accordance with those rules. At least that's the idea. And it works pretty well. OK, let's get started with the demo of this project. Then we'll go ahead and walk through how it works. And lastly, I'll show you how to get the link from the description, download and install the shortcut on your device. Chapters are in the description, so please feel free to jump around to make this video work the best it can for you. And by the way, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing if we deserve it. And please check the description for other ways you can support this channel through Buy Me A Coffee, which can either be a one time contribution with no ongoing commitment or if you prefer, a subscription is nice as well. You could also visit our brand new little Etsy store. Now, please be patient with us on that because we're just getting started. OK, so let's get started. Welcome to Apple EDC. And let's ask the big giant head a question. How did the tradition of Christmas trees come about? Hit done and we'll get a security question. Allow that. Now it's thinking. Then we're going to get another security question. Let's allow that. The security questions only pop up the first time you run this shortcut. Now we're presented with a menu. Let's go ahead and create a new note with chat result. Let's enter the note title and now let's add a tag to it. We see we have our title, the tradition of Christmas trees with the date and the time. Then we have the question. Then we have the answer. Next, we have a friendly version. And after that, we have a scientific scholarly version. And at the end, we have the standard chat GPT disclaimer. We also have word counts. Here's how it works. We start off with a comment and then we dismiss Siri and continue. Next, we create a chat note tag. We want to make sure we do not open when run on that one. Then we ask for text and I use a little prompt, ask the big giant head as an homage to my favorite sitcom, Third Rock from the Sun. I allow multiple lines. Then here's the secret sauce, a little text action. I like to think of these text actions as little containers. And inside of it, I've got four rules. No follow-up questions. Please be friendly and concise. Please include a scientific or scholarly version as well. The last rule I have is to please insert word count in the response. Then after that, I just selected the ask for input action that we made above it. Next, we use the use model action new to iOS 26 and I'm using the chat GPT model. And I took the text action above it and fed it into the use model as our query. Next, we made another text action to format the result of the query with the date and the time, the question we asked, and the chat GPT response. After that, I just added the standard chat GPT disclaimer. Next, we take that text container and copy it all to the clipboard using the default settings. All right, now it's time to use that query. So I present a menu with several options. The first is to create a new note with the chat result. On that one, we need a title for the note. So we ask for input to get the title. Then we create a note using that ask for input action followed by the text action that we made that has the chat result in it. It goes into the folder that we selected when we installed the shortcut. Let's go ahead and use a little twirl down next to the folder to make sure we don't open when run. Now let's go ahead and use our chat note tag that we made at the top of the shortcut. We're going to add that to the note we created. Then we're going to add another tag and for it, we're going to use the ask each time option. That way we can select any tag that we've already created and append it to the note. But because we're doing that, we need this little if statement here, just in case we decided not to add an additional tag to the note. So if we have a value on that additional tag, we go ahead and open that version. 
but if we don't have a value otherwise, we just open the original note with the original tag added. The rest of the menu items are pretty self-explanatory, so I won't detail them here. Let's go ahead and open this from the link in the description, and it will open the Shortcuts app, and we'll end up with this screen. Now let's go ahead and set up the shortcut, and we'll select the folder where we want our notes to be. I selected my second brain folder. Then let's add the shortcut. Now if you don't see it, you're probably in gallery view like I am here. So let's go ahead and switch to the library view, all shortcuts, and we'll be able to see it from there. By the way, if you're on your iPhone, you can switch from gallery to library down at the bottom. And there it is, right at the top. From here, we can tap the three little dots to open it up and then tap the twirl down right next to the name where we can rename the shortcut or we can add it to our home screen. Let's go ahead and add it to our home screen and let's use a little bookmark image that's available in the description. There it is. I'll choose that and I'll hit add. And now we have our little chat to note shortcut on our home page. Thanks for watching. Also, if you would leave a comment, that's really helpful. Any comment will do, but particularly any ideas on other shortcuts you'd like to see, or if you'd like me to switch around the format of these videos. I tend to kind of jump around as it is. I don't think I quite have the right formula yet, but if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again. Bye for now.